as you'll see here on the le on the, in this left, the uh, selected search filters, anytime I make a change on the right, these dynamically adjust to whatever uh, my search criteria I've entered. So in this case, I'm searching for marketing titles, manager and director level. Um, I could also search for a specific contact. There are a lot of different ways to use Lead Ferret. One of them is to search for types of people that you want to target, market to, cold call, email, etc. Another is you can actually use it to find individual people. So you could actually put in an individual person's name and or information on their company to find an individual person. That's one way that people use a site. So once you, and that, again, as you enter this criteria, it dynamically adjusts here on the left, which is very helpful once the search panel collapses after you run your search. So you can see if I uncheck manager here, it's removed from the search panel on the left. If I check it again, it's added. I can also go over to this panel on the left and, and remove it from there. You can also, if you find the search panels a little overwhelming and you'd like to better visually differentiate one panel from search, or one uh, area within the search panel from another, you can turn on this feature, the color filters. And what that does is it actually applies a color to the header of each section and illuminates the search filters that have been selected in the same colors by category over here on the left. So that's actually a way you could sort of customize your experience on LeadVerit as well.